Hey, there's been a lot in the news lately about telomeres, mitochondria, and getting down into cellular health. And I find it fascinating. In fact, I love the whole idea of protecting your telomeres. And in case you're not familiar with what that is, a telomere is the cap on the end of your chromosomes. So every time your cells divide, your telomeres actually shorten. So it doesn't bother you a whole lot when you're younger, uh, but as you get older, it's just harder for that to happen. And they can actually measure the amount of life that you might have left by the length of your telomeres. So try and think of telomeres as the cap on the end of your shoestring. You know when you buy a new pair of shoes and that cap on the end of your shoestring is just really hard and pointed and you can easily lace up your shoes, but about a half year later they start to fray? That's the same idea that happens with your telomeres. Now, not everybody can afford to go out and have their telomeres tested, but uh, the one thing they do know is that stress has an immediate effect on your telomeres. In fact, one of the first products ever uh, tested to show that it had an impact of slowing down the rate by which telomeres were damaged was a multivitamin. So someone has come up with a product specifically for it, but it costs you a couple thousand dollars a month to take this product. But in reality, what you have to do is pay attention to, to nutrition and to stress because both of those make an impact on your cellular health, inflammation, and the length and how well your telomeres actually sustain themselves. So anybody can look at their diet, make sure that they're eating well, have fewer toxins in it, and pay attention to their stress. These are things you can do without buying some ex expensive product to actually work on your telomeres. And where does mitochondria come into this? Well, mitochondria, again, is really the baseline for all health in your body. Every cell in your body has multiple mitochondria. And anything that damages mitochondria long term will also theoretically be damaging your telomeres. So these are two things you want to pay attention to. And again, what is the best thing you can do for it? Watch your diet. Have some nutrition in it. Um, take some extra nutrition, especially for your brain, and do something for your stress. Now, as you all know, I make products for brain health, and one of the things that I add to my herbs, an adaptogenic herb mix for stress, is a nutrient formula to protect your brain, to supply it with the fuel it needs to actually function properly, and long-term have the nutrients there that it needs for sustaining nerve health. You know, neurons are nerves, and if you don't have the building blocks, which are things like B12 and methylfolate, uh, if you don't have that every single day, then your nerves are gonna suffer. And they're more susceptible to inflammation, which then again does what? Damages your telomeres and your, <laughs> and your mitochondria. So one of the things that you also should do, everybody should pay attention to, is your cell phone use. I know we all love our cell phones, but you have to figure out a way to where you're able to use your phone without putting it up next to your head. Because they now know that having that type of cell phone radiation next to your brain for more than 15 minutes starts to uh, create a certain type of oxidative stress. In fact, the chemical's called a peroxynitrite, a uh, long word for a nasty chemical that damages your mitochondria. And this has been going on, this research, for at least 15 years, but it's kept out of the press because, you know, the press is usually run by people with money that have an investment in cell phones. So the best thing to do with your cell phone, find some sort of earpiece that you're comfortable with uh, that works for you and limits your radiation a little bit. Try and hold your phone out in front of you and use the speaker on it as much as you can. And that uh, texting is actually turning out to be a really good thing for people that use their phone. So all these things will protect uh, your brain from excessive radiation. But when it comes down to it, you still have to have nutrition and you have to have a program to reduce your stress because stress triggers the most inflammation in your brain that causes long-term damage.